Hey, David here with DIY Mountain Bike. Today we're going to get into adjusting the brakes on a mongoose mountain bike. Alright. Um, geez, really there's three, let me grab this, three primary adjustment points we're going to talk about today. So you got a fine tune adjustment basically at the brake lever. All right, you've got kind of a coarse adjustment. I'm going to call it coarse, but basically, if your handle, you don't have enough, or you know, you're squeezing it all the way to the the, the handle grip, um, you know, you can tighten the cable up and get some more some more grip on the handle. So a coarse adjustment. Then the other adjustment. To kind of center everything is this screw right here. So let's go through some of the the uh, tools you need. Phillips screwdriver, um, and, you know, maybe some pliers if you need to pull on that cable. A five millimeter hex, uh, a ten millimeter wrench, and then uh, my trusty uh, uh, Crank Brothers multi tool. So let's dig into this real quick. Let me uh, get you back on the stand here. And we'll start working through the adjustments. So let's get, get this in there. All right, so I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab the, just to help point things out. So when you're just starting out, I like to basically crank in my my adjustments here, right? Crank this in. So that means loosening this, the lock nut. I wonder if you can see that close enough. Let me get you even closer. There you go. So I'll loosen the lock nut and screw this guy in, right? What that does is it's basically um, shortening the cable length, which will basically give more slack to the to the brake itself. Alright. So let's get get this down a little bit lower. Right here. So we can get in close. Alright, so talked about that course adjustment. So let's get that 10 millimeter. Alright, you put that guy on there. Loosen it up, right? And you can see what ends up happening, right? You can adjust that cable length. Now I'm almost to where I want it to be, so I'm just gonna give it just a little bit more. Tighten it up just ever so slightly. And then tighten it, you know. Here and tighten it up. Again, that'll give kind of more squeeze, more uh, tension at the lever itself. Right? So there's adjustment number one. Adjustment number two is our, basically our centering. So on each side is a Phillips, a little small screw right here. And it puts more tension on one side, you know, on this side. So if I screw this in, it'll put more tension on this spring wanting it to pull out more, right? So if I screw it in, it's tightening the spring, causing this side to pull out more, right? If I screw this side in, again, it tightens that spring, wanting to pull it out. So what you're shooting for, what you're shooting for is kind of an even pull on both sides. You can see how both arms are moving, and I probably have you know, a nice freewheel, right? So there's that adjustment. The next one, let's go back to our fine tuning on the handle itself, right? This is where you can come through and by, you know, screwing this out, lengthening it, right? You're effectively, you're lengthening the cable. You're putting you know, more grab, you know, more tension on the brake itself. 
So we're going to go out about that far, get our locking nut screwed back down, right? And then that's about right. You want about, about one third pull engagement to start tightening it up. Probably the last item to talk about is the centering of the brake pad on the, the rim itself. So we're going to get you even closer. So we're going to lower this down even more. Let's get in here even closer. All right. So this screw right in here is connected to the shoe, all right, the brake shoe. Um, and what you want to do is you want to make sure it's centered, you know, in alignment, parallel with the rim itself, and it, the height is adjusted correctly. All right, so to change that again, your five millimeter, you know, you break it loose. Now it's got a lot of adjustment, right? You can go up and down, right and left. Um, I like to get it finger tight, centered on the rim, up and down, aligned, right? Tighten it up by finger. Now it'll tend to move as you tighten it, right? So kind of hold it with one hand and tighten with the other. So, so we've got that. One last thing we want to do is double check to make sure we're still free wheeling. So, you know, lift that wheel up, give it a spin. So we're doing good there. Brakes are stopping, not squeaking. So, you know, let's do one more thing. Get my face out here for a sec. So let's, let's talk about, uh, go to DIY mountain bike, mongoose brake. So if you can search that, search DIY mountain bike, mongoose brakes, you're gonna find a, a PDF. Free, no emails, none of that, you know, nothing that's gonna make it tough, which will, is basically a companion to the web article, right? You know, the, the article I've already got on DIY mountain bike. So free, uh, free PDF there, you know, print it off, go out in the garage. If you get to do these adjustments, you'll be all set. Mm -hmm.